Hello everyone and welcome to a quick video I'm going to make for, um, just going to overview about around about five things that you can do before BFA comes out to keep people interested in the game. It's around about, um, I'd say one quarter of the way through the last um, raiding patch of Legion uh, and Taurus. Um, and yeah, there's a lot of people, especially I'm seeing, are uh, just either quitting the game because of the RNG or just because they've had enough and they're just going go to not play until the end of So this video is just for all them people who think there's nothing to do. Well, in, actual, in actual fact, there's just a lot to do, but it's overshadowed by some of the main things. But to start with one of the main things is what I'm showing this gameplay with, is me doing the um, sequel from our old, old school raid. The reason I'm doing this is, it's mainly with the new collections appearance tab. A lot of people in this game care about transmog. And the fact that now there's a progress system, kind of, with collecting transmog. And that um, you can now see the progress on a current uh, piece of gear. So one thing people can do is just see if they can collect all of the um, all of the collections and see if they can have all the appearances in the game. Like for example, I'm collecting staffs at the moment. Let me just quickly go to staffs. So I'm 207 out of um, 535, so I've still got a long way to go, but there's just a progress bar, which people can do. And especially for people who care about achievement points, I'll just quickly go to achievements, and there's just a whole tab dedicated to collections and mounts and stuff like that. Let me just quickly sell this. So there's just a progress marker for people, because a lot of people in this game want something, want, want to, like, want a guide to live by on what to do next and this ha allows you with achievements and with collecting transmogs and mounts or whatever but also tied in with the with the um with the transmog is the mounts and that now a lot of i've seen a lot a rise in a lot of people who care about mounts now especially with the rise in tcg mounts as well a lot of people want the rare mounts so it's one thing for people to do you know show off their good new mounts and especially in legion there's a lot of um there's a lot of rare drops from uh, Mythic Rage, which people want, like the Avenging Fell Crusher from the uh, Crests uh, Paragon reputation. A lot of people want them. And especially the um, Gul'dan Mythic and Normal. And the Shackled Urzil. A lot of people want that from doing um, the Mythic and Taurus raids. A uh, Mythic Argus raid, sorry. And on to my next one, it is um, PvP. And that with the added pre made system in the Legion. Anyone can really get into RBGs or, or re arena. Like in the prime of the day, when most people do um, RBGs, there's like at least 20 to 10 groups all doing RBGs, and anyone can really get there. Teeth stuck into PvP if they couldn't before, because before the, like it was really hard to get into the RBG scene if you didn't have any current CR. But now you can make your own group, get into RBGs, and yeah, do your calf or just do 2v2 and 3v3. And yeah, you can also progress the honor talents if that is what you're into with all the BGs in the arena. But it allows just, yeah, one thing you can do is uh, PvP and arena and stuff like that. And the next thing is Mythic Plus. Mythic Plus is a really, really big part of, um, really, really big part of Legion and getting geared really, really well. So... One thing a lot of people are doing are trying to push keys as much as possible, doing 25s, 26s. A lot of people just main Mythic Plus now because it's so fun doing the really high keys on challenging weeks. Like, for example, just doing a 25 like on the top server. So a lot of people now just main main Mythic Plus and try and reach the top on their server. Because it's quite challenging when you get up to like past 20, onto the 23s and 25s. On Especially on some weeks, it's just like really, really hard. So yeah, one thing you can do is push Mythic Plus or gear alt to that. Another thing now is, uh, which they've added recently in 7.35, is now that Antorus Mythic is puggable. So a lot of people can now get their progress up without even having to be in a guild. And people, you know, who want to have a chance at raid leading or making their own group can do that now in the, um, the hardest content, which is Mythic. Uh, in my opinion, I don't really like this due to the fact that there's kind of like... It's kind of something about having everyone on your server, like, you can only do Mythic with people on your server, so guilds are a bit tight-knit, whereas now there's people plugging. But obviously, if you're not into guilds and you can't commit, then this is really good for you, if you want to raid leads and pug raids and whatever. So yeah, Mythic raiding is one thing that you can do to 
fantastic time. If you've never been into raiding before, now's your chance, especially going on to the hardest difficulty, which is mythic. Um, and yeah, and obviously there's all the um, old school mythic raids, like you can now do try the Valor to get the chosen achievement. And you can now do yeah, all of the mythic raids out now. So you can make your own group when you want and you can kind of play on your own um, schedule. So if you're, you know, if you want to raid on a Friday, you can do that and just make a group for it. But yeah, that's um, that's it for the um, mythic raiding. And one other thing, which is just like one of the main things, which a lot of people do nearly every expansion, is just is just make make alts. Just like try and get every single class to around about 110. Especially in Legion, like, with how easy legendaries are now, and you can kind of get all the legendaries for each class, and you can see which one you prefer. Especially with coming up to BFA, a lot of people want a big choice of, um, of characters to play then. So, me currently, I have every single class, 110 at 940. So, when BFA hits, I can just see, because I'm currently playing at the Alpha, as you can see in my other videos, like the dungeon ones. I can see which character I prefer and which one I'm going to, you know, hit the ground running with in BFA. So it's not like, oh, I want to play Warrior now because it's changed my liking. I've got to level it up 1 to 120. I can just pick up my 110 and just keep going again. Especially with the new um, allied races, there's just that added incentive to get, like, 110s. Like, for example, if you get 110 with a High Mountain Touring, you can get the really, really good looking um, Transmog and the same with the Nightborn. So, yeah, just leveling ults. And one more thing which I found myself doing more, especially coming up to BFA, and me already mythic raiding and doing all the stuff I've mentioned in the video. I'm doing gold farming and gold, uh, making a lot of gold, especially in like expansions of what I've seen in Alpha. There's a lot of things which are going to dump your gold. For example, the spider in um, Legion, where you literally, it's literally, it was literally there just to dump 2 million gold into, so it stops the inflation. But you're going to need a lot, a lot of gold in uh, Legion. And I won't I won't be surprised if I see them raise the gold cap again. Because there's so many people hitting gold cap. And especially now when people are sending boosts in Mythic. Like, loads of people are paying gold cap for services. So it'll be really good to get your gold up as high as possible. So you can hit the ground running in BFA and not be held back by um by your gold totals. And get, s gold total, sorry, and get some of the new mounts. Like, for example, the um, Paragon... Uh, well, the reputation on the light mount is 500k, so that it just shows that they can't try and dump, dump out everyone's gold. So I won't be surprised if we see some reputation mounts in BFA, which are costing about like either 10k, you know, uh, 10 mil, 1 mil, sorry, for a mount or something like that. So one thing you might want to do is just farm some gold up, make sure you have a little healthy total up for BFA. So if you're raiding and stuff like that, you can just buy lots of the new flasks and stuff like that because they'll be very, very high priced. But yeah, that's it for the um, five things to do before BFA in 7.35. Like and subscribe if you like the video and check out my other videos on the Alpha. I've done some dungeons in the new Alpha dungeons which have been released. The Motherload Pull Dagur and I can't remember the one off the top of my head but yeah. So comment if you want me to change anything and yeah, see you in the next one.